Hi, my name is Misa Iwala, and I'm the Interim Artistic Director of Musica Viva. I invite you to join us on March 8th for a concert called The Romantic Age, Music of the Schumanns and the Mendelssohns. In 1819, a baby girl was born in Germany to a singer mother and a piano teacher father, and that girl was Clara. Her father wanted her to become a famous piano prodigy, and he succeeded in making her one. From childhood, she toured Europe and achieved so much acclaim. When she was eight years old, someone came knocking on their door and asked to become a student of her father's. That was Robert Schumann. While she was still a teenager, Clara and Robert fell in love, and they sued her father for the right to get married. He was not in support of this union. In fact, he said, can you imagine my Clara with a baby stroller? But Clara was sure, and when she was in her early 20s, she did marry Robert Schumann. The years after that, at the beginning of their marriage, were some of the most fruitful years in an artistic collaboration. Robert Schumann wrote his piano quartet, which you will hear on this concert, for Clara Schumann. And she wrote her songs, Opus 12 and Opus 13, some of which you will also be hearing on the concert, in tribute to her husband, Robert. Here is one of the songs from that period of Clara Schumann's life. Liebst du um Schönheit, if you love for beauty. Schumann's had seven children, and she did continue performing, but it was very hard on her husband, who would prefer her to stay home while he composed. He also was suffering from a mental illness, which meant that he was institutionalized and died in that institution. Towards the end of her life, as she was a renowned piano teacher at a conservatory, she said, the practice of my art is the air in which I breathe. Born 14 years before Clara, Fanny Mendelssohn was also a member of a musical family with a very strong father who told her that the only profession that befits a woman is that of a housewife. But Fanny was an accomplished pianist and a wonderful composer. She hosted a series of salons in her home in Berlin in which she would present the music of Bach, Mozart, Beethoven, the Schumanns, her brother, and herself. And in this way, she really contributed to the life of 19th century cultural Germany. Please join us on March 8th as we present our own Sunday musicale celebrating the works and lives of the Schumanns and the Mendelssohns.